So November is here. We've got Halloween out of the way. So all of those Halloween scents are gone uh, for our beard care. But now that means that we've got cool and cold weather scents, winter scents, winter lines, uh, holiday lines are coming out. So I want to talk about some that are now available for Iowa Beard Co., one of my favorite companies here. And there's uh, four, five, six cents, something like that we're going to talk about today. Uh, and I've tried all of these in the past. So all of the ones that I'm going to talk about are uh, older ones from, from years past. I don't know if there's a new one coming or not. Justin's always got something up his sleeve, but uh, the, that's okay. If it's not, I still love uh, all of these scents uh, very much. All right. So um, if you haven't seen me do a video about Iowa Beer Company, uh, I don't know where you've been because I think I saw there's like 28 of those or something. So it's been a lot, but uh, just one of my favorite companies. Justin and I get along very well and I always like uh, sharing all the good stuff uh, with you guys. He's really um, come a long way with his scent mixing and uh, quality products of all has always been there. But uh, the prices are $17 for an oil, uh, $17 for a two ounce bomb, $22 for a big four ounce uh, butter and the ingredients are kind of blended together. It's not whipped, uh, but it's also not exactly poured. It's kind of a hybrid in between. That goes for $22 for a big four ounce. Um, and then you can always save with the code Beards and Banjos 15. Uh, also, there's always free shipping on U.S. orders, so no hidden costs there, which I love. Uh, and there's also, if you want combos, you can get like uh, combos and, and trios and that kind of stuff for uh, even more of a discounted price. So the uh, carrier oils are jojoba, grapeseed, argan, vitamin E. Castor works very well for me. It is definitely on the medium side, maybe just a hair on the lighter side of medium. Kind of depends on, on what you're used to. And then the butter is shea butter, uh, mango butter, coconut oil, jojoba, aloe vera, sweet almond, vitamin E. Definitely one of the best feeling beards uh, products for the oil and the butter that I've used. So enough of that. Let's get into the scents. So one of my all time favorites is called Winter is Coming. And this is balsam fir, amber, cypress, wintergreen, cedarwood, pine, ginger, and more. Not sure what the more is, but I love this one. I'm not sure if this one's all essential oils or not. I'm sure Justin will chime in on that. But that's kind of the vibe you get. It's the woodsy, minty, um, in the best way possible. I did a whole video on some of my favorite woodsy, minty scents. If you want to check out some more that I like this time of year, that's an absolute great scent. Love the artwork uh, on this. This is actually one of my favorite uh, artwork here with the labels, kind of paper labels. It's just cool. And basically what you see there, that's what it smells like. It's that whole vibe is actually there on that. So it's called Winter is Coming. Uh, one that I don't have, I had in years past, I need to get some more, is called Abominable. So that one's chocolate, mint, candy cane, vanilla, sweet tobacco, marshmallow, and caramel. And a little bit of like more towards the food side, but not super, uh, super strong or super sweet or anything like that. Uh, it's basically like one of those little Andes chocolate mints. Uh, the ones that's got the, the, the after dinner uh, chocolates, it's got the little stripe of green uh, through it. It's basically what you get. It's a nice, smooth scent. Uh, that one would be another one to, to have in butters. This is the one of the seasons where I like actually getting some of the butters in these um, particular uh, scents because of the woodsy minty kind of vibe, which I love. All right. Uh, next up here, we have uh, a little uh combo here that came out last year i think this was inspired by like a christmas cartoon or something but we got mr tim below and mr 101 one's supposed to be hot one's supposed to be cold there's nothing really hot about this one uh, in my opinion it's tobacco amber sage honey spice but it's not cinnamon it's not clove it's not anything like that i don't really pick up spice to me uh black pepper and more to me this is the one that's the most uh cologne-ish out of the ones we're talking about. So uh, if you want to take a, if you really like the cologne kind of scents, this one's to me is the most gentlemanly out of uh, the batch batches here with uh, the tobacco and the uh, amber. So it's kind of a tobacco, amber, sage, a little bit of the sweetness with the honey kind of all mixed together. That's called Mr. 101. And then another one of my favorites is Mr. Tim Below. This one's kind of like your peppermint vanilla, but with extra a little something, something on it that Justin likes doing. It's vanilla, sweet tobacco, cool cologne, candy cane, and more. So you get the candy cane and the vanilla, but you also get like a little bit of like a cool water kind of cologne thrown in there and a little bit of that sweet tobacco that Justin likes to use. Works really well. That's a good one to have in the butter too, in my opinion. 
And, and I think that's all of those I do have to throw out for you guys that do have a collab there with the Iowa Beer Company. And we have one, I actually have two, which I really like both of them. But this one for cool weather, especially is Sophisticated Cedar 2.0. We did a little uh, making it more sophisticated, uh, even more sophisticated after the first year or two there. We reformulate it just a little bit. I still like both of them and they're not tons different if you had the original. But this is Cedar Wood, Amber, Birchwood, Oud, River Rock, Bergamot, Candy Cane, and Patchouli. And I don't like patchouli, so it's not heavy on the patchouli or anything like that. Just a good scent. So if you're, it's it's pretty much half cedar and half the other stuff mixed together. So if you're into those cedar type of scents. Uh, like I like, especially this time of year, you want to check that out. Let me know if you've tried any of these scents from the Iowa Beer Company, which one of these might be your favorite. And as always, guys, appreciate you watching and we'll see you soon.